1999, so that's a 996 Porsche 911 Carrera 2S cab. As you can see in black with a black roof and a lovely fresh looking silver twist alloys. And before we start having a look at the bodywork and things like that, I just want to briefly show you a bit of paperwork. So we will detail in the description everything we know about the history of the car, all that sort of stuff. But the car in October 2022 went to D&G, which is the local well-known Porsche specialist up here, for a full health check with pictures, everything at all. They've gone through the car in the same way that you'd expect a specialist to do. Picked on every little thing that they might want to pick on. Um, which we see these quite regularly. What we don't see is then the owner of the car going, yeah, let's do it. Uh, and spending £4,796 in October. Mileage on the car when it was done. Uh, we've got that on here somewhere. Let's have a look. 82,000 miles. So nearly £5,000 spent on top of all the other servicing, on top of everything else. The car's on 82,999 now. So 83,000 miles. So less than 1,000 miles. It's had 5,000 or the best part of £5,000 spent, making it right up to their standards. Again, like I say, you just don't see that anymore. People don't spend that kind of money. They don't put that kind of care and attention in the car. If you check the description, we'll detail everything that was done. Um, it was obviously a relatively well looked after car before that because it wasn't any major neglect or anything like that. Usual bits of wear and tear, um, but you can see where these things can quickly add up. So let's start by having a look at the bodywork. Shut that door properly so we can have a proper look. So like I say, black metallic, this one, with a black hood, black interior. This front driver's wing will start there. Lovely and clean on the driver's wing. We've got a little stone chip just here, but the arch itself, nice and clean all the way around. Nice and sharp. We've done a terrible job of cleaning it, so we we'll have to give it a proper clean. But it is lovely and clean all the way around there. If you look down the side of the car, you can see it is nice and straight. It's not ripply or anything like that. The alloys, there's a receipt in there for a recent refurb, so they are fantastic all the way around. Lovely clean discs and calipers as well. Uh, and we've got a Pirelli P0 Nero on the front tyre. We'll check the rest as we go around. Coming down this driver's side, you can see that sill. Again, apart from a bit of dirt that we've missed. Really nice and straight and clean. No sign of any corrosion or anything coming through there. Nice and tidy on that driver's door. Again, no sign of any marks at all. There's a little chip in the paint on the handle, just there on the top, where the handle meets the actual door. Nice and clean on that wing mirror. This A pillar coming up here again, nice and tidy. You've got this little seam here, which can be a bit of a, you get a stone chip in there, you get a bit of corrosion, but there's nothing to sort of point out there. Apart from like I say, us doing a terrible job of cleaning the car. Nice and clear on that glass. And then coming down this rear quarter, we've got a small chip just here, very, very minor. And then this arch again, lovely and sharp all the way around. You normally get a little bit of an issue down in this corner here, but there's nothing there. And quite often you'll get something coming through here. Again, lovely and clean on this one. Another lie on brand new looking wheel, nice clean calipers and discs, and another Pirelli P0. We'll have a look at the roof while we're here as well. So I believe there's a receipt for a replacement window at some point. Uh, again, these things go yellow, dry out and crack. The roof, apart from a bit of bird poo there that one's cleaned off, which we'll do, is lovely, clean and tidy. There's no signs of any snags or rips or tears or anything in that. We'll show you it working in a second. Coming around on the back, both rear tail lights, lovely and clear and bright. It has had a couple of marks done on the back here. So there's a little one just here and another little one just further up there. Um, and I'm guessing it's almost like it's, like it's been backed into something because it's chipped the paint down here next to the plate. This one sort of touched in really. Other than that, nice and clean on that rear bumper. The exhaust sit nice and straight and level. Coming around on the passenger side again, if you look down this side of the car, nice and straight, not wavy or ripply. No real marks to note on that rear quarter. There's a look at the roof from this side. Normally they sort of fray a little bit down here, but this one's really good. Same with around the leading edge of the, the roof there and across the actual pit. It's actually you've got one stone jib just there, but that is it. Nice and clean on this side, as you can see. We've got a little parking scratch. In fact, what happened? That's dirt. Ignore that. So the seal, uh, the seat, the, the sill along this side, going okay, nice and tidy. It's not been jacked up wrong or rammed up any curbs. Nice and clean on this arch here. Sharp all the way around. No sign of any corrosion. You've got a little scratch on the leading edge of the the arch slip there. 
another good wheel p0 tire nice clean discs and calipers very very light scuff on the windmill there it just caught me in the car park or something i'm guessing nice and clean up that a pillar all nice and tidy out the front wing sharp all the way around and another good wheel tire caliper disc so that's four p0s all the way around good tire for the car as with any 996, the headlights would benefit from a very light polish. These ones are actually generally pretty good, um, but a, a, a polish would always make them look a little bit better. I'll give them a good 8 out of 10, but they could be a 10 out of 10 with a proper polish. Lovely and clean on that front bumper. There's no sign of any real major stone chips or anything like that. I've got one very light one just at the bottom there. But other than that, lovely and clean and tidy. The bonnet, same story, nice and smooth. And flat, no real signs of any stone chips. The barge is in good condition. Normally these peel off by now. Well, the lacquer peels off, sorry, and they lose a bit of the colour. Now what we're going to do is we'll skip ahead. We'll skip the interior for now because I'm going to drop the roof down so we can get a bit of a bit, bit more light in here. Um, but I'm, I'm going to hold the camera backwards while I do it. Uh, obviously, if you if you know your 911s, the thing you want to check is smoke on startup. Fires up on the button, not a puff, not a whiff, nothing at all. If you go straight inside, you'll see oil pressure straight up to five. Uh, you can see from the temperature gauge the car's stone cold. Uh, roof's very simple, handbrake on. Got a switch here, press and hold that. It'll drop your windows for you. It's got four windows on these rather than the little ones at the back. And then roof drops down, and the little housing sort of cover flops on top. It's worth pointing out that these sections, these, these come across to hold the bit where the roof sits. Normally these are either a bit lazy or they don't appear at all. These ones are lovely and clean. Work on the, exactly as they should. They fit nice and tight. There's nothing worse than that big gap there. It looks horrible. And then again, where the roof was, you can see, lovely and clean. We'll give it a little rev just to again show you no smoke and then we'll knock it off so you can hear what I'm saying. Yeah, really, really good. Um, but again, the, the history on this one is nice. So if we check the description, we'll detail all that. Door card on this side, nice and tidy. Driver's seat, very, very, very light wear on the bolster. I am being particularly picky with that because it is very good. Nice and firm, nice and clean and tidy. The back seats, to be fair on these things, very rarely get used. So they, they very rarely show any signs of wear. There's no exception on this one, nice and tidy. All the carpet sets nice and dark. Backs of the seats are good. Quite often with the black interiors, the risky run is sort of sun fade. So it's 82,999 miles. So let's call it 83,000 miles on this one. Spec wise, we've got the trip computer, cruise control, heated seats, air con. Uh, I believe 6CD, we'll check in a second. And then obviously usual stuff. So memory seats, electric windows, all that kind of stuff. Two keys with this one. Going into the passenger side. Lovely and clean and tidy on that door card. The door shuts are nice. They've not had any seat belts or anything jammed in them. And then the passenger seat, again, no sign of any wear at all on those bolsters. Really nice and neat. All nice and clean and tidy on that dash. And under the bonnet, we do have a outdoor car cover, should you want to use it. Got the tool roll, the warning triangle, 6 CD with the cassette, normally they've gone sort of AWOL by now um, and you're, empty, you're left with an empty cassette and someone on eBay charging you about 100 quid for one of those, that's still there. All nice and clean in here, all the plastic covers and everything are where they should be. Nothing to talk to whinge about there. Pop that cover back in. Yeah, it's nothing worse than when those plastic covers go missing, it's uh, not fun for anybody. Just looks ugly for me. Right, and then round the back, obviously you've got that 3.4 litre Flat six. Never really a whole lot to see in here. What you're looking for is nice and clean and tidy like this one is. Underside of the boot lid, all good. It's not dropping any fluid on the floor. All nice and tidy. So there you have it. Porsche 911 Carrera 2S convertible. Check the description, we'll detail everything we know as far as service history, ownership, all that sort of stuff. 
If you want to come and see the car, we're open six days a week. Just let us know, we'll book you in. If you can't get to see it, again, let us know. We can send you videos, photos. We can do a video call, anything like that you might want. Just let us know. Thank you.